All right, now I'm gonna give you five hacks on how to upscale the look in your patio this summer. Are you getting your patio decorated for summer? It is the season where we spend a lot of the time outside and what better way to spend it than a beautifully decorated patio. I started my transformation, so I'm gonna take you guys along Home Depot and show you how I pick my plants. If you wanna see, please stay tuned. Don't forget to like this video and share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to Ramona Home for future decorating ideas. Let's get started. I started the patio transformation a few weeks back by hanging the windows. If you guys haven't seen that video, I'm gonna put a link on the comment section below or somewhere right here in the iCard. Uh, me and Jameson have been working really hard on transforming this patio. So we went to Home Depot and we bought some selected plants and I wanna take you guys there right now. All right, we are at Home Depot and we are picking up an array of uh, green plants. The secret to have these plants make it is that you have to make sure they have the right amount of light and the right amount of water and temperature. Uh, we are picking all of these plants that are bright light to make sure that we don't kill them because it's happened in the past where we buy uh, bright light plants and then we put them in the sh uh, shade and they don't make it or we buy low light plants and we put them uh, outside and they just don't make it. So the secret is to always pick the right amount of light for your plants and keep them water as you should. All right, I hope those tips are helpful for you when you're picking your plants. So now I want to show you how we potted our plants on the backyard. One thing I want to mention is always, always, always repot your plants. They look way prettier on a terracotta pot than they do on a plastic container that they come in. And then also, uh, I'm trying to keep them on the same terracotta pot, different sizes to give it different heights and a lot more uh, visual interest. So that's another tip I can give you is always try to collect pots they are similar color or similar texture that way it looks more cohesive as you guys can see the patio is coming along planting those greeneries are so easy and they're going to really add a lot of character to the patio uh, next step on that is going to be uh, placing the plants so let me show you how I did that all right, now I'm gonna give you five hacks on how to upscale the look in your patio this summer. I'm gonna start by adding some architectural pieces and that will add some visual interest. And I want to mention that what I'm trying to do right here is cover up some of this uh, window that I have in going into the office, but I don't wanna block all the light. So I'm gonna do that by adding some of these architectural pieces. And I also like to tell you that I like to put them off to the side so I don't cover the whole window but I will cover some of the window without blocking some of the light. Now also I like to add some statuary to my patio decor because that gives it that Italian feel that I'm going for. Never been to Italy but I've seen pictures so I know the Italians love their statues of their Greek gods uh, and so we're gonna add some statuary. And the third architectural piece that I'm going to add is going to be this riser that also looks like it came from an old building. So I'm going to put that off to the side so I can put a plant on top and give it different heights. Hack number two I want to share with you is always include some silver and some crystal into your decor in your patio. This also helps it to provide some really elegant um, aspect to your decor. And I want to mention the silver nowadays you can find them in your thrift stores and it's so inexpensive, literally pennies. So what I like to do is just add a silver tray right here so I can add my crystal flutes and that will help me upscale the look of this uh, patio uh, by adding crystal where my guests can drink from instead of having that nasty looking solo cup. Adding a glass pitcher it will help upscale the look. Alright, hack number three is always include some type of expensive looking pottery. In this case I have a collection of blue and white pottery that I like to add to my this place. So I'm gonna add one right here and then one right here and just by adding that little touch of blue and white really helps to upscale the look of your home decor. Hack number four is have a collection of similar pots. In this case I've chosen this really pretty terracotta uh, uh, pottery and I have a collection of them. So see the reason I, I wanted to add this element just so I can add some layers 
to my decor. And so now we're going to add different heights and also sizes into the display and you will see how just by adding a collection of really pretty terracotta plant plants into the decor you will upscale the look of your home decor just even further. Alright you guys, hack number five is always mix real plants with silk plants. If you have really good quality silk plants, you can spend a fraction of the cost of what they cost and you won't kill them. Like I do not have the green thumb, so that's why I always like to add a collection of really pretty uh, silk uh, greeneries into my display and I guarantee you nobody will know the difference of which ones are real and which ones are fake. Getting the patio together is so much fun. I hope you guys will come back next time to see the reveal of the patio. If you guys, uh, leave me a comment. Do you use blue and white pottery or do you use real items on your patio? I want to know what your thoughts on that is. Also want to invite you to like this video and share with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe to Ramona Home for future decorating ideas. Until next time, bye. So if you want to see... <coughs>